Before moving on to the next step of the problem, I did want to point out that the fourth term was actually wrong in the previous example, so it actually should be negative 4a. So I put that in red here inside of the video just to kind of make sure we are aware of that little mistake there. So now that we have everything multiplied out, we can now start comparing our coefficients. And again, we have coefficients for the s cubed, the s squared, the s, and the constants. If we compare coefficients on the cubics, we've got negative 2 equals a plus c. If we look at the s squared terms, we've got 7 is equal to negative a plus a b minus 2c plus a d. If we look at the s's, we've got negative 7 is equal to 4a with a plus c and then minus a 2d. And then for our constant terms, we've got 28 equals to negative 4a plus 4 times b plus just d. And now if we write this into a matrix form with the augmented matrix, we've got 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 2. We've got negative 1, 1, negative 2, 1, 7. Then we've got 4, 0, 1, negative 2, negative 7. And then finally, negative 4, positive 4, 0, 1, and 28. And again, if we go to our graphing calculator and do the RREF, we get A, B, C, and D. And you may have to use math and frac to convert the decimals over into fractions. But the first one is negative 47 over 25. Then we've got positive 26 over 25, negative 3 over 25, and negative 8 over 25. And so that is our four different values for our constants. For the next step of the problem, we'll go through and rewrite big Y of S with these constants and then do our inverse transform.